Hello guys, in this class, we'll be starting a series of classes on electricity. In other words, we'll be discussing everything in electricity, starting from your electrostatics, talk about your capacitor, talk about your current electricity, we'll talk about magnetism, we'll talk about electromagnetism. Are you seeing that? So, it's going to be a complete series of classes on electricity. I'm going to start from the scratch, which is this class, introduction to what is charge. Charge is the basis because we need to understand where is electricity coming from? Where does the word electricity starts from? So that is what we're going to be starting from the beginning. Listen to me. I want you to take your time and follow all the classes because by the time I'm done with you, you will not remain the same. Of course, it's sad. Amy on the beat. Quickly, this will be our lesson one. We're going to start what is electric charge. Now, the basis of electricity starts from charge. So what's charge? What's electric charge? Hold on a bit. The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake, everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move, let's get back to class. Enjoy. Now, I'll start by telling you first that there are three definitions for charge. This three definition is going to give us where, the, where those charge stem out from. I'll start first by telling you that the word electric, the word electric is gotten from the Greek word amber. And the meaning of amber means what electron, but this electron here is what is key. So electricity got from the Greek word amber, amber, amber. And what does amber mean? It means what electron. In other words, everything in electricity, everything in electric physics begins with what we charge. And take note that in today's class, we'll be discussing about what electric charge. So anytime you hear electricity, where is it stemming from? First, from charge. We need to start from where does, where is it coming from? We said that the word electric is gotten from the Greek word, which is amber. And amber means what? Electron. So to discuss electricity, we have to start from the basis, which is what? This charge. The question is, what is charge? I'll give you three definitions. The first definition is that electric charge is a physical property of matter that induces a force when placed in an electric electromagnetic field. Look at it. It is a physical property of matter that induces a force when placed in an electromagnetic field. Now, the definition may look stressful, but look at it. Let's say, for example, this is a positive charge and this is a negative charge. In as far as they are within an electric field, what will happen? On light charges, so they are going to attract each other. This one will pull towards each other. This one will pull towards each other. What is putting them is a force. So that is why we say electric charge is a physical property of matter that induces a force when it is within an electromagnetic field. When it is within an electromagnetic field, there is a force that is induced. That physical property of matter that induces that force is said to be called what? Electric charge. Everybody wants the first definition of electric charge. Electric charge is a physical property of matter that induces a force when blazing an electromagnetic field. We said that to trace electricity, we have to trace charge. Are you seeing that, that electricity starts from charge? So we are trying to understand what is charge. So we said there are three definitions. The first definition, we said electric charge is a physical property of matter that induces a force when placed in an electromagnetic world field. What is the second definition of electric charge? I'll start by telling you that electric charge can be defined as the current flowing through a body in one second. Look at the word, the current flowing through a body in one second. That's why we say Q is equal to IT. IT, where I is the current and T is time. So the current flowing through a body in one second is said to be called what electric word charge. We say we are equal to what to IT. Are you seeing now? Everybody was electric charge. Electric charge is the current flowing through a body in one second. The current flowing through a body in one second is said to be called what electric word charge. Lots of the past questions we're giving. So when it comes to creating an account, right? This is the interface of the app that you can see. You can see create account and you can also see login. Now, what you do is this. As a new user, I don't have an account yet. So you don't need to go and log in. You go and create an account as a new user. Click on that create account button. Once you click on it, the next thing is put your phone number. 
place in your phone number you can see plus two three four then put your phone number whatever your phone number is if you don't have phone you can use your mommy's phone number and put it there right or your daddy's phone number use it and then you can proceed and create the account so let's go so once you create the account you are putting your phone number what happened put your name your correct phone number please put your name if your name is uh, john what do you feel in there john and then your last name frank filling john frank and what's your email address okay if your email address is um john frank john frank three at gmail.com you fill it there and then your password very important you create your own password six digits you can use your phone number the first six digits of your phone number or the last six digits of your phone number or you can okay since the um, um your name is john frank you can say okay well, my um, password now is John, right? John one two three, and then you go and repeat the same thing. Confirm password. What will you type here? Your John words one two three. You can decide to view it all, yes or and then see whether you are doing the same thing. Whether what you are doing is correct, right? All you have to do is just click the I button there, and then you view it, and then come to select education. You are preparing for jam. On YEC, in select education, there are four plans there. University, that's for people that are in university. Probably 100 level, 200 level, right? Yes, their classes are also there. Secondary, for those in secondary school, primary. But for JAM and YEC, ah, ah, baba, click YEC, JAM Pursuit TME, right? As the select education, select level. You are not preparing for Pursuit TME, you are preparing for JAM and YEC, right? Okay, click on the word JAM and what YEC. And then create your account, two seconds. Plus, you don't enter. It will load and then it will open for you. And it will tell you, welcome, John. Right? Your classes are now what? Ready. What do you do? Start learning. The past question that calculates the charge of a body whose current is 100 ampere and the time ticking is 2 minutes. Given option A, option B, and option C. Of course, we know that Q, which is charge, is equal to what IT will sell charge is the current flowing through body what in one second. And from here that we're giving the current to be 100 ampere, we're giving time to be, therefore Q is equal to 100 times. The time here was given in what in minutes, and of course time must be in seconds, that's 2 times 60, what's 2 times 60? 1,200 watt coulomb, which is equal to 12,000, 12 kilo. Right, this is 12 because kilo is 1000. Making option D to become the word. And so, everybody, what is charge? My mom said, charge can simply be defined as the physical property of matter that increases the force when placed in an electromagnetic field. And number two, we said charge is the current flowing through material in one second. And what's the third definition of charge? I'll start by telling you that charge is the number of electrons multiplied by the charge of one electron. Calm down. It is the number of electrons multiplied by the charge of one electron. So that's when we have that Q is equal to NE, where N is the number is an electron. What's charge of an electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 19 joules. Say that we're going to put minus here because it's an electron, because proton and proton and electron are the same. Proton is going to be proton is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 19 joules. So proton and electron had the same charge. The difference is that for electron we indicate here to be minus, while this one is what is plus. Do you understand? So everybody, what is the total definition of electric charge? Electric charge can be defined as the number of electrons multiplied by the charge of an electron. Look at it. We said that Q is equal to what N E, where N is the number and E is the charge of an electron, which is giving us minus one point six times zero point minus nineteen watt coulombs. Do you? understand that and we're going to solve a question on that do you understand so where n can be one two and what one two and three so we get three definitions of electric that those three definitions should be ringing in your head number one we said that uh, electric charge is the physical property of matter that is a force when placed an electromagnetic field number two we said charge is the current free to material in one second number three we said that electric charge can be defined as the number of electrons multiplied by the charge of an electron let's see a past question on that that we're giving that what is the number of electrons in a body? Given that the charge is 72 coulomb, what is the number of electrons? First of all, we know that Q is equal to what N in. Are you seeing that? They say what is the number? That means they're looking for what N. N becomes Q all over E. So what is Q there? We have 72 coulomb because the unit for charge is coulomb. We're going to talk about that. 
and the other final electron, which is 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 19. So that becomes 72 divided by 1.6. So grab your calculator and do that. 72 divided by 1.6 exponential minus 19. And that's going to give us what? 4.5 times 10 raised to bar 20. Have you seen that? So that becomes the answer number. Everybody, close your eyes. Tell me what are the three definitions of a charge? Number one is the physical property of matter that is in force when placed on electromagnetic field. Number two, charge can be defined as current free through material in one second. Number three, charge can be defined as the number of electrons multiplied by the charge both and the electron. Do you understand that? <laughs> Now that you have created your accounts, right, for you to start learning, what do you do? Okay, you can see that your use of English is there, mathematics is there, biology is there, physics is there, chemistry is there. Your classes are organized, they are all there for you, right? What do you do? Okay, um, I want to start learning biology. So click on the biology, immediately you click on it, living organisms, that's chapter one, right? Oh yes, that's strictly to your jam syllabus. And what happened? Let's say, for example... Um, you want to watch your class on cell and probably cell structure, right? What happens is that you click on it. Immediately you click on it, you see all the classes will display history of cell, types of cell, cell of the nest, and all of that. Okay, sir, I want to watch history of cells. You click on the history of cell immediately. Hello, friends. Your class will start playing for you. It's easy and not. It will start playing for you easy and direct. And what happened? We can even choose to make it full screen. Right, make it full screen. What happens? You are not learning, and you are enjoying your classes. In fact, you may choose to say, Okay, I want to download my classes. In fact, you can fast forward, you can take it backwards, you can pause, you can rewind. Anyone you want to do, you can even say, Oh, sir, I want to download my classes. Right, probably you am um, use night up just to click on download buttons. When you click on download button, you see the download. Before you know what will happen, the download will start what loading. As it start loading, you can see it is moving. Tia, 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 tia. <laughs> and then it's the entire your phone. Are you getting it now? You can now go and start watching your words, your downloaded classes. You can download as many classes as possible as you want to download. Now, you can even choose to say, okay, no, Sada said no, the notes underneath it is the same thing for everything. I want to download my notes. All you have to do is click on the what the download for your notes before you know what is happening. Fia, it has entered your phone. You may choose to come to the notes, right? Under the characteristics of living things, let me open the notes and read the notes and go through the past questions. So you see, well organized and structured notes direct to the points, focusing on your syllabus for you. There are past questions for you in abundance. You see, you have your past questions here. You can choose to say, okay, I want to zoom it in, right? And then the same thing for all subjects. And you are following. The answers are there. Number one answer is B. Why is the answer B? It is explained for you in details. Every singular thing. And then you are following your classes. You Then you are done with that. You come to the next. You see your notes. Everything structured and organized to the core. In fact, at the end of the day, there is a blow piece for you. You have done well. Get out. You too much. Everything is structured and organized for you in the app. Right? And yeah, you can now choose to say, okay, sir, what about um, chemistry classes or physics classes? You can do same. Use of English, all of them, they are there. When you click on your chemistry classes, what happens? Separation of mixtures and beliefs. All of them are in line with your uh, jam syllabus. Chemical combination, right? It just goes straight. You see, chapter one alone has 39 videos. 39, you sit yourself down now and you start learning. And you are following all of them one after the word. Order. Does it make sense? Are you with me? When well, you want to access your download classes, all you have to do is just scroll down right on your home interface. Go to your access your download um, classes. Start now. You start. You see them, right? In fact, you may even choose to go and practice CBT, right? Or pass question. Let's say, for example, I go to my CBT, the one that has to do with my um um my biology. Then I want to take all the questions on that cell. Probably your um YX cell or the jam question on it, right? Just to click on it. So you see, all the questions are there. There are 40 questions there for you already. All of them on that cell. What happened? Which of the following cell inclusion can destroy other cell organelles? Probably you now say, oh, some answer is like or so some more. You choose it, you go to next like that. At the end of the day, you see your answer, see your corrections. All of these things are in the LearnLift app directly for you. Are you with me?
So as far as your jam 2025 is concerned, my dear, you don't have an excuse whatsoever to have anything less than 300. Are you with me? All your classes are available for you. All you have to do, start learning now. Download the Learn Lift app now. Take note that what's not the unit for charge. Take note that the unit for charge is columns. You can say colon, but as a black America, I call it columns. So everybody was in for charge, in for charge is what is column. And if you say you understand that, take note that column is the quantity of electricity. In other words, if you want to measure the quantity of electricity, we are talking about what column. Everybody, column is the unit quantity of electricity. Constant statement. Then it's a past question, jam 93 question seven. What is the quantity of electricity? The unit quantity of electricity columns. What is the unit quantity of electricity columns? What is the unit quantity of electricity columns? And take note that charges are what are scalar quantities. Now, let me give you bad calls. Charge is a scalar quantity. Your work energy and power is scalar quantity. Everything about electricity. But one thing that is a vector quantity is electric field. Take note, the electric field is a vector. So we can practically say all other parameters are scalar, but electric field is vector. Electric field is vector. Electric field is vector. Electric field is vector. Next class after this, when we are done with charge, we need to talk about electric field. So electric field is what is vector. Everybody was in for charge. Coulombs, what is coulomb? Coulomb is the unit quantity of electricity. And what is electric charge? This is scalar vector. Electric charge is what? As scalar quantities. Understand? Now, let's see Jam 1984, question 7. The question says the unit quantity of electricity is called what? What's the unit quantity option? Is it ampere, B, C, both C, C, coulomb, C, C, D, ampere, and is the electromotive force? Of course, we say that the unit quantity of electricity is your what? Columns. Making option C to become the answer. This is everything about just the definition of what of your electric chart. Go through the notes. Practice CBT. Always send a friend about the learn lift app. Let us for those that want to join the 350 gang. If you don't join the 350 don't download the don't follow us and join our WhatsApp community for those that need mentorship. Everybody should be mentored. I show you are part of the WhatsApp group because we do um, every uh, Jam talks on Sunday, so you should ensure that you are jam white talk on Sunday. Then ensure you're in the WhatsApp community so that you follow up everything. And when you see in the next class, so we're going to talk about everything about your what atomic structure and the relationship with charge. Where does charge come from? In the first class, we just define charge. So now, where does atomic? What is the? Where does charge come from? What's the atomic structure? What relationship between atomic structure and charge? But for now, I'll see you in the next class. Peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.